Norris Church Mailer, welcome back to Arkansas. Thank you, Kane. So happy to be back. Yeah, and what brings you back is your new memoir, A Ticket to the Circus, right. which has one of the best titles I can imagine, <laughs> 33 Years of Life with Norman Mailer. Well, it seemed kind of appropriate. <clears throat> I was looking for a title for the book, and nothing leapt out at me. And one day I was talking to a girlfriend about my life and some yeah. of the things that happened, and I said, well, I bought a ticket to the circus. I don't know why I was surprised to see elephants. <laughs> <laughs> and we looked at each other and we thought, that's a pretty good title. Yeah. <laughs> so I went with it, and, and I think it's pretty good, too. Well, the book's been out for a little while now, and it seems to be just about everywhere. I, I saw it in the New York Times Magazine you were interviewed, yeah. in the New York Book Review section, which came out the day before this interview, and you got a rave review there. I've seen it in Vanity Fair. Have you been a little surprised at the reaction to this yeah, book? Yeah, I, I have. I'm thrilled, obviously. Yeah. Um, I was hoping for, you know, for good reaction. You always hope for it. I, I've had a couple of novels out before which had decent, mm -hmm. but nothing like this. So I'm, I'm still kind of just flabbergasted. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get right to the point here and read a section from the, the very first prologue page of the, of the prologue okay. in which you say, uh, Norman has come down and says, when I'm gone and you write about me, I want you to say, and you write, I would invariably interrupt him. I'm not going to write about you. I'll never write about you. <laughs> Nobody would believe it. And yet, here I am here <laughs> with your book. You wrote about him. What, now, what brought that on? What changed your mind? I Why tell you, you it's, it's, a, it's kind of crazy because I really never wanted to write about him, and we did have this discussion many yeah. times. Um, and after he was gone, it was like, you know, when you're lying there at night and your mind starts to go, it's like my life kind of started playing out in my head like a movie. And I, I don't know, I just felt like I wanted to write some of it down. And in the beginning, it was going to be very different. I wanted to write kind of a cheaper by the dozen kind uh -huh. of book because I have, we have nine children and we used to spend summers together in Maine and, you know, all the funny stories that happened and, mm -hmm. you know, cooking and all this stuff and then I realized in short order that I didn't have a cheaper by the dozen kind of life <laughs> and that's when I decided to just write it and if I was going to write it I was going to tell the truth I was going to explain what happened because as I say in the book you know I don't have any skeletons in my closet yeah. they've all been in the pages of the New York Post and um, so it's all in the book for better or for worse